board of directors of a company examining mergers and acquisitions, either from the perspective of a buyer acquirer or a would-be target acquiree, should ensure that executive management and the board are aligned and have integrated the objectives of the merger and acquisition process into the company's overall strategic plan and that a, a disciplined pursuit of corporate objectives is emphasized and well communicated. Further, the board should be assured that the tactical capacity is in place to pursue merger and acquisition growth. Specifically, the company must have the necessary risk management discipline, human resources, and physical infrastructure in place to pursue growth by M&A. The U.S. banking industry has been undergoing consolidation for several decades. Some of the mistakes that executive management and boards have made in the merger and acquisition process have been chronicled, and they include, one, a lack of integration of the merger and acquisition strategy or process into the overall corporate strategic plan, a lack of understanding of the merger and acquisition process, including the regulatory issues, the infrastructure and integration issues, and the financial implications of a merger and acquisition transaction. And finally, would-be acquirers in the, in the merger and acquisition process have from time to time emphasized external growth to the loss of market share in their existing franchise by underemphasizing the perpetual dictates that the company implement organic growth. The board's role in the negotiation of a merger and acquisition transaction has common parameters whether the company or bank is positioned to be an acquirer or a merger and acquisition target. Best practices will ensure that the board and management have a very well-defined and established set of priorities that the merger and acquisition process is targeted to attain, always driven by the attaining of shareholder value outcomes. That prioritized plan should give management or the special committee of the board that's negotiating the transaction room to maneuver within specific boundaries and objectives. In the due diligence process, the board's focus should be on ensuring that the process itself is well communicated, time efficient, thorough and robust, and relies on third-party expertise where warranted. When a merger and acquisition transaction reaches the stage where the counterparties state that the deal is done, quote unquote, Experienced management teams and boards realize that it's actually only halftime of the ball game, if you will. They realize that two very, very important and vital to shareholder value outcome elements remain, and they are called transaction integration and transaction ongoing execution and fulfillment. These two issues should not be understated it involves a continuation of in-depth work by the respective management teams of the transaction and has a critical bearing on the shareholder value outcome of a merger and acquisition transaction.